Hey everybody, I have got a mess in this basement. I think this is the biggest mess officially that I have ever had in my basement or garage or what do you want to call this. Um, there's the head taken off. I was going to take that to a machine shop, but I found out going through Summit that um, I could just order a whole head. Of course, it's probably got like Chinese parts on it, like uh, valves and stuff like that, maybe the springs. But for the same price, I get a brand new head that um, you know that should be ready to go and just bolt on for the same price as I could get it machined. So I'm going to go that route, and because uh, this engine is going to be near stock build, uh, I might bump up the you know the pump a little bit. Um, right now, just a little bit intimidated. I've never messed with a diesel engine. And this thing is big. I want to make sure I get this right. And uh, get this thing rebuilt. This is my old one right here. I'm going to, um, which looks like it was in pretty good shape. Of course, this block's going to have to get um, machined. And I'm going to try to use the used block that I bought. It's already been honed, and it looks like it's in really nice shape, so I'm going to go that route. And um, i got to clean this one up, take the, the parts I need off of this one, and swap this one over to the engine stand. I wonder how heavy this head is. Oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. We're not dealing with small block Chevy or Ford stuff right now. <laughs> we are. You gotta be super careful with this stuff. You're gonna drop it on your toe or something. We'll take apart the old motor a little bit and see what, what kind of condition it was in. And so far, the number one doesn't look too bad. Yeah, All right. engine fell off the stand. Guess I needed the feet pulled out longer. Yeah, they weren't pulled out long enough. Amazing what having the crank on it makes a difference. <laughs> In case you're wondering, um, selling the bed off the truck, I want to uh, I want to locate or build an um, aluminum flatbed would be ideal, but I may not be able to make it out of aluminum because that's a lot of aluminum to come up with. But that's what I'd like to do. And this thing was a bear to get off. Went through three Torx bits. Actually two. I think this one is just kind of messed up and I'm choosing not to use it anymore so really too but it was a pain thing to do is get under here and um, spray the bottom of the bolts with some kind of a rust cutter and it really helps a lot 
got to disconnect the uh, there's one wire to disconnect the lights and had to disconnect the um, the fuel fuel filler yeah, that's about it all right guys it's another day uh, after that fiasco of me about uh, dropping that got to be like six seven hundred pound block on my foot <laughs> Um, that's the reason to wear steel toes uh, boots when you're doing stuff like this, which I didn't have, but I did have some uh, boots on, but they're not steel toe. Um, it's time to start making some progress on this. I want to uh, I'm gonna get the crank installed today, at least for this video, and uh, check this block out, check the clearances. Um, I gotta clean this block up first, and uh, I wanna start going the other direction. Instead of uh, disassembling stuff, I'm gonna start uh, getting some stuff put together. And, um, oh, by the way, if you're watching this video, it's pretty obvious that I am not an expert at this. Um, and I've never rebuilt a diesel before. So this is just a vlog of my progress and my first attempt at doing this. And uh, you get to see how it comes out. If anything, it's, uh, it might be entertaining. <laughs> so hopefully it is. Oh, and by the way, um, I'm using DeBoss's, DeBoss Garage. Um, I'm using his videos to uh, kind of get some instruction how to build this and I'm following the steps that he recommends. He's got a whole video series about how to rebuild Cummins and uh, pretty much following his uh, recommendations for a budget build which is what I'm trying to do. So, yeah, so if you haven't seen his channel uh, go check it out. I'll put a link in the description so uh, you guys can uh, see the proper way to do it. See, that's a good start. Freshly honed cylinders. Not by me, but the guy I bought it off of. He bought it off another guy who uh, had the uh, cylinders honed. It's not decked or anything. and Hopefully he won't need it. I'm going to try my straight edge on it before... Got a... Uh, Cummins upper and lower uh, gasket set. I don't know if these include the um, rear main seal or the front seal. I'll have to figure that out. But I had that. And when I bought all these parts from the guy, he included bearings for the, uh, the crankshaft and rods. Rod bearings. Here are the mains. Oh, that's great. The ones with the holes go in the uh, in the block. Well, and the uh, the ones without the holes go in the caps. The holes don't exactly line up. I wonder if I got something off here, or I wonder if I got the wrong bearings or something. I'm gonna have to go back and watch uh, DeBoss Garage and see what their, see how his bearings line up. All right, so went on the web, <clears throat> and uh, what I could tell on the web, they said it's supposed to look like that. They're not supposed to line up 100%. And I just happen to have the bearings from the original, um, yeah, the original install, and look how good a shape those things are in. I mean, they were. Kind of believe that this thing probably had less than less than hundred thousand miles on it. So I'm gonna see how these fit, or just see if they're close. And they look like they're exactly the same. Probably could have <laughs> reused those, but thankfully I, I had some new ones that uh, were included with the block when I bought it. Got the uh, Permatex Ultra Slick Engine Assembly Lube.
I'm just afraid I'm going to scratch a dermal in it. I think I could physically lift it up and put it in there, but let me see. And maybe I Hopefully you guys learned from my lesson. Do not try to manhandle this thing. Or you will regret it. I should have done this live. You guys could have yelled at me. No, no, don't do it that way. Gauge. I'm going to check the, uh, I guess I'm just going to check the center one. It's right at three thousandths. It's like perfect. I don't know if this is going to come out. I'm trying to do the best I can. I got grease all over my camera. But I don't have one of those high dollar cameras, that's for sure. Dang, I not place the mount either. Six thousandths. I think that's the bare minimum. Uh, maybe. Seven? No, six. I think six and a half. I think we're good. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do for future updates. Remember, build it, don't buy it.